When you think about a snake, how do you picture it moving? Yeah, if you're like most of us, you picture it in an S shape and it's slithering and moving across the ground or maybe sometimes swimming on top of the water. Maybe you picture it slithering in the sand or maybe even hanging on a tree branch. And most of us don't picture an S-shaped slithering movement floating out of the sky. That's right. There is an amazing group of snakes that God designed with the ability to glide through the air. These snakes are known as flying snakes. And they're found in various parts of Asia and India and a few other places. And let's look at the fabulous flying snake and discover how it's able to soar. First, the snake has special scales, and they've got little ridges on them. And these ridges are known as keels. Using its ridged scales, a flying snake can push against a tree trunk and climb to the highest branches. And when it gets there, in this tree very high up where these snakes spend much of their time, sometimes it wants to go to a tree or something further away. And so, in order to do that, it finds a suitable branch, slithers to the end of it, and basically launches itself, almost like jumping, off of the limb. Now, once it is in the air, the flying snake sucks in its belly and flares out its sides. And then it moves its body back and forth, almost like it's swimming, but in mid-air. So how does this help the snake? Well, it helps it by drawing the middle of its body up and spreading out its sides. It forms an air pocket along the underside of its stomach. You can see a similar design in a flying disc like a frisbee that has a concave shape where the sides dip down further than the middle of the disc, leaving a lip on the underside of the edge. The slithering motion in the air, well, it also helps control airflow and it helps the snakes control where they land. And if you want to get technical, flying snakes, they don't really fly. They can't really gain altitude. Actually, it would be better if you called them gliding snakes, but flying snakes is a little more exciting. It just so happens, however, that when we talk about them gliding, they're very good gliders. Even though they don't have limbs like flying squirrels do, they are more efficient than most all of the flying mammals. In fact, some flying snakes can glide as far as 300 feet in one flight. That is the entire length of a football field. Can you imagine seeing a snake launch itself from a limb on one end of a football field at the goal line and end up all the way at the other end? Wow, that's pretty impressive. It's no wonder we call them flying snakes. Because flying snakes are such good gliders, scientists have done lots of research on their abilities. And these scientists are trying to find how the snakes with no wings can use the air so well and go so far. If we could learn more about how flying snakes float so efficiently, we could use that knowledge to build helpful machines or scientists suggest even maybe robots that would mimic this ability. And as we look at this amazing design, those robots might help us do certain jobs. You see, brilliant men and women, they have studied these flying snakes, and they've studied other aspects of nature and how these snakes use their bodies, but we still don't completely understand all that they're doing. And that means that whoever designed the flying snake is much more intelligent than we humans who are studying them. We know that God is the grand designer who created the universe. And we can see a tiny piece of His awesome design when we study flying snakes. Let's always remember to praise the Creator for all the super, slithery, soaring wonders He has made.